Hello there and welcome back. Um, today you can see we are cleaning behind my washer and dryer. Um, I was not planning to do this on this day. I was also not planning to film but I did know that when I did get to um, cleaning behind the washer and dryer that I did want to film it because I knew it was going to be pretty gross and it would look much better once I got done. So I am doing that now, but um, if you're new here, my name is Haley. This is my channel, At Home with Haley. Um, I have five kids. I am married to my husband, Justin. Uh, we live in South Carolina, and my channel is a lot of cleaning, a little bit of cooking, just home life, uh, motherhood, organization type things. So um, if you would like to subscribe, I... Um, I would suggest you do that so you'll see here my dryer was not drying as well as I thought it should I had put it on like a bulky load dry time which normally dries it really well and it didn't get dry um, so I pulled it out I also like checked the filter area to make sure that it wasn't like full of uh, junk and it really didn't look bad so I pulled it out you could see that hole was in the little vent thing. Um, you can also see that we had a lot of extra of that coil. So I really cut it down a lot when I fixed it. So I just took it off, cut it, um, and put it back on. Made sure it was nice and tight with that little, um, whatever you call that thing that wraps around it and tightens up. So... Uh, but then while I had this pulled out, I just wanted to get this area kind of clean. So I've got my vacuum. There's a lot of dust back here. Um, I don't know how long that hole had been there. I don't think for long though because really my dryer had been doing fine um, until like the last couple days before this. So I don't think that the hole had been there long. Um, but that would cause like a lot of excess dust to come out of the back. Um, so you'll see there it looks like there's like spiders there and there are but they're dead um so i'm just vacuuming this up vacuuming the dust and cobwebs and trying to get this area a lot more clean um as i'm working back here just know like i'm not looking for perfection in this area this is behind my washer and dryer um no one sees this on a regular basis not even me so I don't need it to be perfect. Um, it's not. You can see. Um, but yeah, there's like these random. I don't know why they had to mount those boards on the wall when they put this in. We didn't do that. We moved in and it was just like that. So um, don't know why they did that. But uh, anyway, you'll see here. I knew it was going to be really gross <laughs> under the washer. I had finished kind of sweeping where the dryer was. But my son had set the um, laundry detergent on the washer and the washer kind of shook around and it fell off and it leaked onto the floor and he cleaned it up but I knew there was some under there. I've known that for a while but I haven't cared enough to move it. So look at that. Oh, so gross. Um, it's dust, dog hair, trash you can see it was like a bottle top of some sort all kind of things back there on that floor and then the caked up um laundry detergent so i think the floor must have gotten wet back here at some point and then the dust kind of dried to the floor so we'll get that taken care of today um but yeah again on this side behind the washer just getting all this dust out um while i don't care that it be perfect i do just like to try to get it cleaned up while i'm here um and you know a dust-free home certainly would be healthier so <laughs> it won't be dust free but less dust in our home is great it's kind of hard working with this vacuum well number one while i'm also filming but i lost the attachment to it that's just like the one that gets into the really tight spaces so the brush side, while it does fine on some things, like it's just hard to get it to maneuver it to where you want it to go. 
and then all the dust is just like sticking to the brushes so I end up having to like pull that out to help it go down into the vacuum but I think I got a good bit off here and then I also do get my little hand duster and go over the walls as well um, I didn't clean the wall I did clean the walls like towards the top here in just a second you'll see me do that um, but I didn't get down towards the bottom just because I know it's going to continue to get really dusty down there. But I did get as much as I could with the vacuum. And now I'm just kind of going back over this with a duster. Um, just forgive my appearance. I had not showered yet this day. I was just getting cleaning done before this. Didn't even know I would be filming. Not that I always look great to film or anything. But um, definitely was not up and prepared and dressed and ready to go for the day but and now i'm just gonna wipe these walls down with a little all-purpose cleaner it's the lemon nope i ran out of lemon ver verbena it's some kind of lavender all-purpose spray similar to like a miss myers but it's from walmart so um just wanted to wipe these walls down after i dusted them make sure they were nice and clean i saw a few like drips on them they're painted white, but they're not painted white very well. Um, so I do want to eventually go into this. I guess you could call it my laundry room because it's where my wash and dryer are. But it's really just the laundry closet and it's in our basement. Um, but it just looks like they only put like one coat of white paint on and then they didn't go over it again. So there's a lot of places where um, it needs to be covered up more. So now I am going to just sweep back over it again. To get any dust off and then run over the whole thing with a mop several times um, it does take a little bit of extra work to get that laundry detergent off but um i'll let you guys enjoy some music while you watch this dirty floor get clean <music> So, like I said, that laundry detergent, um, do you guys ever do this, like put your foot on top of your mop just to give it some more pressure? Um, so the laundry detergent, I just kind of like, um, you could see me at one point just like take the mop and get it a little wetter and then just like leave that moisture on that spot. Um, so that helped loosen it up a lot, but I think at this point I'm giving it one last go round. As you see me leave and come back, I'm, you know, dipping this into the mop bucket and cleaning it out. Um, but I cut out those, like, few seconds in between just so you're not sitting here watching nothing while I do that. But, um, looks good. A lot better 
than it did when we started. All right, so here um, you're probably wondering, and that's that's the piece I cut off of the back of that uh, vent. So I, I did cut it. I don't know if I did it in half fully, but I cut a lot off. But I'm putting this back, um, putting the washer and dryer back where they go. And you're probably wondering why that wall looks like it does. Um, so there was a cabinet there. We just painted the entire basement the color that you see on the wall to the left near our doors. Which to you in this film looks very similar to the color on the wall to the right. But it actually is a darker color over to the right. And we didn't paint that wall because that wall is going to come down. So the cabinets were sitting there and we moved them um, just to get them out of the way so that we could start that process. Behind that wall is a bathroom and it has a shower, a sink, uh, vanity, and a toilet. But it's very, very narrow. Um, so we want it to be more of like a fully functioning because no one really wants to go in there. My son, whose room is down here in the basement... He does use that bathroom some, but it's just not comfortable moving around in there. Um, so there's work we want to do that bathroom. And step one will be getting that wall moved out several feet so that we can um, have that bathroom be like a normal size. Uh, we may replace the shower and put a full tub shower combo in there, um, but not sure yet. And when we do that... Um, I definitely want to do some filming so that you see that process, but I did fail to film us painting this basement. I failed to film us painting another room upstairs and, um, and then like a room, the room above, like where our stairs are up, up. Anyway, three different rooms <laughs> we painted. I didn't show any of it, uh, but I want to get better about that. I think I did mention in another video that like I'll film and I do everything on my phone. I film on my phone. I edit on my phone. Uh, all of that. So I don't have like a separate place that I store the film, the video while I'm waiting to do it. So like I can only film so much before my phone is full. And then if I film some more, then I can't, I don't have enough room to like, um, get the video prepared. So I just have to really try to focus on one video at a time which is one reason why I haven't put out a video in a few weeks is because I'm just like, oh, I don't want to film that because I got this coming up that I want to film. And then if I don't get that video done first, then I can't film this. So anyway, I just need to get over it and uh, film and edit in the same day so that, so that I'm able to clear them off as I go. But anyway, got the washer and dryer pushed back into this closet I did try to make this closet look a little cuter. So there's a shelf up there and I just have a, a few little decor items. So um, I'm pretty happy with it for now. But if we do redo that area, like if we paint it, I kind of want to do wallpaper on the very back wall. Just a white wallpaper with like maybe some kind of black or gray detail on the back of it. But for now, it's not my top priority. It's fine like it is for the moment. Um, but I did pull out from the beginning the area where uh, your filter thing goes and just checked in there. I'm, I did a little vacuum down into it, but I really couldn't get much out. It's a very narrow area. And then now you'll see me right now, I'm putting it back in. Um, so I don't think the problem was the filter or, um, or the hose because when I looked down in the hose... It didn't look really caked up or anything. I went outside and looked into the area where uh, that comes out um, and it didn't look caked up either. So I have had times where I've had to like really clean those out really well because they've been clogged up. But that was not the case this time. And the dryer has been working fine since I uh, fixed where that hole was. So at this point I'm just getting this cleaned off. Uh, and getting it put back in and then um, that was the load that like just didn't get quite dry enough and I was like that's strange I had it on the bulky setting let me see what's going on uh, this is an extra water hose and it had just fallen behind the washer so I picked it up as I was cleaning 
and I had the good idea to set it um, up there. You see me, you see me thinking about it right here. Um, to put it up in that little container I have up there. The container has nothing in it. It's just there because I like it. Um, so I was like, oh, I can just stuff this in that little container. And now I've got it there if I need it, but it's not sitting out. Um, so I'm also going to clean off the top of this. So I will let you guys enjoy a little more music while you see me kind of clean off the top of the washer and dryer and get that area nice and tidy. And so the tops of those are cleaned off. I dusted them with that duster, wiped them down, and then now I'm just going over the fronts. They weren't that bad, but there was like a little drip right there of laundry detergent that I got off. And then as I'm cleaning that, I'm realizing these drawers underneath um, some, some fabric softener had dripped into the washer one. And of course, because it's hidden away, I just let it be and didn't worry about it. So here in just a second, you're going to see that. All right, so this is the dryer drawer. It's just dusty dog hair. Just not that bad, but not good either. Uh, and here, same kind of thing. Dusty, grody, but like where that fabric softener was, it's just holding on to dirt and dust. So... I am going to do a quick vacuum. The vacuum didn't do that much. See how it won't like get down in that crevice very well. So end up, you know, I do wipe everything out. Um, so I am going to do a quick vacuum of these and then also get that cloth and, and clean these out really good um, and get that fabric softener off. And while we're here, I just want to say thank you to anybody that has subscribed. Um, I really appreciate it. I, you know, still don't have a ton of viewers or subscribers yet, but I just appreciate you guys coming by. I enjoy making these. Um, anytime I'm filming, it's not like I just film just to film something. Like, this is just things that I do in my daily life, and I like to share them. It gives me motivation to watch other people getting things clean in their house it reminds me to do certain things um, so that's what I hope it does for you guys and then I hope uh, you recognize that everyone's got these dirty <laughs> nasty areas of their homes that they have to deal with and sometimes it can be frustrating and feel like nothing ever stays clean and we're always you know trying to to keep things up and I think that's true and I think we'll be doing that you know <laughs> the rest of our lives um, but knowing from when my kids were very small 
to today I do feel like it's gotten a lot easier so you guys with small kids um, I hope that gives you some encouragement that it won't be that way forever and um, you you can look forward to times when they're able to help more or you know I used to clean my kids rooms like super clean my kids rooms every weekend and now I I have them do it um, it's not perfect a majority of the time but I let them do it I let them keep up with their own laundry um, and all those things so it really takes some of the pressure off of me uh, and then I do go in their rooms I don't have like a set schedule like every single month I go in there once a month um, I just do it when I feel like it's time so as I start seeing that okay you yeah you cleaned your room but it's <clears throat> not feeling as you know put together as I think it should I go in there with them help them get it back organized and help them get it really deep cleaned and then it stays better for a while so um, <clears throat> those type things I just I feel like I can let go of a little more now um, now that they're bigger and they can do that and part of that's kind of sad but also kind of a relief um, I honestly used to get them help to help more with things like loading the dishwasher and sweeping and mopping and stuff like that honestly I don't get them to help as much and I probably should um, but I just kind of do it you know in the kitchen each evening I just kind of take care of things and I really don't mind um, and I've told them this I don't mind the cleaning and keeping things maintained um, what I'd rather them do is keep their things put where they go so like keep the you know junk to a minimum out in our living room and in our kitchen just taking care of their stuff and making sure it goes where it needs to so I'm fine cleaning the bathrooms once a week and cleaning the kitchen each night after I cook um, if they will maintain their stuff so put their shoes where they go put their book bags where they go make sure their clothes are put where they need to be uh, if they can do those things I can keep up with with the other kind of more cleaning because it's easy to clean a space that's junk free so that's kind of how we do it around here uh, but you'll see this drawer the <laughs> the fabric softener had been on there for so long it did leave a stain I do not care this is a drawer under my washer it's not you know something that's gonna sit out on my dining table dirty or anything like that so I don't mind the stain it's fine I left it for so long it's my fault so um, it's okay um, but it did get so much cleaner, so much nicer. And I really realized while I was doing this that I don't utilize these drawers enough. So like we keep our laundry detergent in the one under the washer, but really just that book that you saw that like talks about the washer and dryer under the dryer is all that was in there. So as I'm cleaning this, I'm thinking, what can I, you know, that makes sense. What can I store in there? Um, and I realized that I keep this, these, um, mop heads, uh, both for my spray mop and my O-Cedar mop. I usually just set them on the dryer and they sit there, um, and there's this little piece that goes to the dryer that you can stick in. If you want to, like, lay a, a sweater on there and not have it tumble, just have it lay in the middle and then the dryer kind of tumbles around it. Um, they would just sit in that thing because I didn't think I could fit that thing anywhere else. But you'll see in just a little bit, I get all of that fit into the dryer drawer. So now there's nothing on the top of the washer and dryer. So it's really nice. All right. So I'm getting to the end of cleaning this one. Um, so I will also show you cleaning the next one. And you guys can enjoy a little bit of tunes until... Um, I get done with that.
All right, and we are getting close to the end here, looking a lot better. Um, I did keep getting up and rinsing this cloth out. I cut those <laughs> few seconds out that took me to go in the bathroom and, and rinse it out and wring it out and come back. So you just might see me leave for just a second and come back. Um, but I did keep rinsing it out because it was getting dusty and um, just feels good to get this cleaned out. Uh, I just want to say, like, if you have a dirty behind your washer and dryer, you can get it cleaned up. But I would suggest if you have a messy kitchen or you have messy kids' rooms or dirty bathrooms, um, take care of those first. Your behind your washer and dryer can probably wait. Um, so just make sure you're getting those areas that you're using a lot done first. Um, I had already like cleaned my bathrooms on this weekend. I had done a bunch of laundry and dried it and um, had put it away. So I had done some of those other things that really were more important and now was able to kind of focus on this. So you see there. Okay. So I first just put those mop pads in there and the little dryer balls I have. And then I realized maybe I can fit this rack in there and so I shut it I think <laughs> then I come back and <clears throat> show you there it is all of it in there nothing on top of my dryer now which makes me happy so thank you guys for coming by today I really enjoyed hanging out with you while I got this done and I hope to see you again next time